Hi guys, welcome back. Scatling here and we're off for more of the Pokemon Fire Raid Nuzlocke. My very first Nuzlocke. And this is the 17th for the first, 2015. This is the Saturday after my first week of work. It's meh. I don't know. It's not what I expected, but then again when I am on the I am on the apprenticeship program, so that's a thing, I guess. Don't know what else to say really. I mean I'm doing two weeks of every possible area of the work and then after the one year they'll put me into a permanent job in like the place that I'm most happy in and the most helpful in you know what I mean but yeah right now I'm just doing the usual warehouse goods and stuff but anyway hi guys welcome back to Scanlon here for the act for the Nuzlocke let's get to the actual intro of this shall we in the last episode we went into Viridian Forest after beating our rival on Route 22 I believe it is which is over here and um yeah, we went into Viridian Forest, but we didn't get much far because of a certain wild Pikachu that decided to show up its face. But we did, however, catch ourselves a Caterpie called Metapro. I was about to say Pro Meta, but that ain't right. It's the other way around. And yeah, we're trying to level him up. No level grinding done this time. We're just jumping straight into it. It's been a little bit of a while since I recorded the previous one. Like I said, during my what's in the just chest before, like the news section of what's in the show's chest which is like the last 10 minutes which is pretty much like an update video in a way I'm not gonna be able to record that often I mean next week I'm on early's so I have to wake up at like half four in the morning so I can be there at six and then I get home at two so at least then I have the rest of the day for other stuff maybe lounging about or doing stuff or maybe even recording so it's possible but yeah, when it comes to this particular week, because I was on uh, late, which was 2 to 9.30, not exactly prime time for anything really. Have a few hours in the morning, have a few hours in the evening, and that's about it really. Oh well, I guess I'm getting a taste of proper work. Anyway, Mental Pro versus Weedle. Well, he, I do have a more powerful attack. Oh, he has a poison sting. You know what, I think I might be able to win this. Ooh. Maybe not. That looks exactly the same damage. Well, let's send out Naughty then. Naughty the rat attack. Now I don't know I don't really know what my uh plans are for Well my like schedule. I guess uh, I'm gonna be alternating between um I'm actually going to record a Stick of Truth after this one episode of um, the Nuzlocke. I'm going to be trying to record as much as possible on the weekends so I can edit them during the weekdays while just chilling and playing my own games in my own time or stuff. Don't know, really know. Don't really know how I'm going to actually do that recording, but pretty much whenever the PS3 is free, um, try to record. And I know that there is some graphical bugs, but it only seems to happen when I record through component cables. I'm not too sure if it's the component cable itself, or if it's just the rocks here bugging it out, but it doesn't seem to do it through HDMI. So, anyway, that battle went uh, pretty smoothly, to say the least. Hopefully I'm not blabbering so much that I'm not actually paying attention. I don't actually know what happened in half through, halfway through that battle, so I'm a little bit worried, but hopefully no problems. So yeah, um, I released my new channel banner recently. I mean, I, I'm, I'm saying this now, but we've got another, e we've got the previous episode of Nuzlocke to come out at this particular time. I'm going to be releasing that tonight at the time I'm recording this. So it's not that far away. This will probably come out in a couple of days or a few days from afterwards. And then it's um, South Park episode three, which was re still recorded quite early on. So yeah, that was probably like a week or two ago that I recorded that. But yeah, I'm trying, I'm still trying to get a good um, rendering uh, like rendering settings sorted for um, 720p and, eight, and 1080p recordings I've pretty much got it for 1080p recordings but they take forever but that's kind of a trade-off so if I'm gonna be doing anything um, 720p related I can't use the usual settings I usually use for these videos like this video the, I use 720p conversions through Windows Media Video that kind of codec so I use them 
I'm actually doing pretty good against this Weedle. I haven't actually been paying attention, and yet I've been taking out this Weedle pretty well with a level 4 Meta Pro. Shows how pro it really is. Unless it hits me with something, but so far it's just spamming string shot, which is cool. Anyway, um, getting back to what I was talking about. Yeah, sorry if there's a few graphical bugs. There was a massive graphical bug that I had to, that I had to uh, deal with in part 4, so I'm going to have to do some editing to cut that bit out, hopefully not taking out too much. But I can't help that. It's over the computer, not processing the, the video quick enough, and it just bugs out. Or it's something to do with the component cable. I definitely know it's not the system, because we didn't have any glitches. Any visual glitches while doing our Smash run, for or Smash Tour even. As well as our Wii U test video, because, you know, that was for H that HDMI. And PS3 can't be HDMI, which is stupid. And very biased. Seriously, why did Sony had to do that? What was the point? If you use a different method of recording, you're still going to get through. Maybe that has something to do with it. Maybe it just glitches up the footage or something. But then again, I can't help that. But hey, it's still HD when it's not glitching up. So, And that's a majority of the video. So that's the best I can do. But you guys seem to enjoy it. I mean, the first episode at this particular point has got a fair bit of views. So, considering. So, yeah, it's cool. In fact, I'm actually quite surprised that my uh, Hylian Loach bonus episode for the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 100% walkthrough got the views that it did. I'm getting a little bit scared of Meta Pro now. I'm actually surprised that that got the views that it did because all it was was just me trying to catch the fish and obviously it was my first time catching it. I didn't have to like leave the area and go back in in order to make it respawn or something. Like do it another four times to get it to respawn. I was actually able to catch it on that one time. It did get on my line a couple of times but I didn't show them off because well, you know, it was a whole hour, and I had to cut it down to half an hour. Somehow I managed that, but yeah. That was, uh, that was cool. So yeah, that was actually the first time I caught the Hylian Loach as well. Could quit right there. I'm not even paying attention to the game at the moment. I'm just explaining stuff that's been going on. Can't really talk much about the RDC, really, because, you know, high profile security stuff. Even though it's not really what we've been doing recently. It's just the usual goods in. You bring stuff in, you scan them, you wrap them sort them out for in sorting that sort of thing so it's just the basic stuff at the moment like i said i'm an apprentice what can i do <laughs> uh, i don't know and remember i'm on set rules here so on the nuzlocke so i can't switch my pokemon out when the opponent switches so. well after i knock out a pokemon so that's a thing i haven't actually been playing a lot of alpha sapphire but then again i haven't really had the chance really and now i have the chance i'm playing fire red what's the matter with me and yeah, so if you've noticed about my new channel banner that, is, that I've uploaded recently, um, it's completely remade, no longer using paint, I'm using GIMP 2, which just makes everything a whole lot easier, as well as a lot more high quality, shall we say? Um, the best thing about it is that um, I've actually put in a few extra characters of LPs that I haven't actually done yet, because I've asked the Wilfons, William, my mate, you already know him, <laughs> His channel's still currently on hibernation right now because of university and stuff starting back up again. And obviously the Christmas uh, period. But, you know, um, I asked him to see if he could, like, make a heavy metal, like, remix on my channel theme. You know, the channel theme that I use. But yeah, um, I asked for a, a remix of that. See if he could sort one out for me when he has the time. So that'd be cool. So we're getting something else on the Will Funds on this channel. Even though he still hasn't appeared in person or through voice or whatever. Still haven't even had an idea on what he could actually be in. I mean, I guess we could have him through Skype on this one, but then again, my computer being exactly the best, and you won't be able to see my footage without dropping the frames to like one frame per five seconds, and that's unplayable to say the least, so. Don't know what I do there. Don't know why I'm attacking with Metapro here, but maybe I'll get lucky. No, 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 okay, switching. But yeah, I've got a channel, um, channel. I've got cha a channel theme coming, so yeah, I might even make like a new uh, trailer for my channel, really, because my I haven't really had a trailer for my channel, really. So, eh, I don't know. Let's go back to Naughty here. Try to bump him up to level nine at least. He needs a bit more experience. Quick attack does more damage because it's Gen three. That did tons of damage, surprisingly. And I'm not gonna go back and heal <coughs> like we do in Pokemon Moge. Because, you know... Oh yeah, and by the way, because I'm recording this on the 17th, tomorrow on the 18th at... Well, I'm not, I don't know why I'm saying this, because this video won't be up tonight, so... 
I'm not going to mention it, but yeah, Pokemon Mo is coming tomorrow at the time I'm recording this. Hopefully, if stuff doesn't get in Kieran's way, so... But of course, that would have already happened, but the video may not be out at this time that this video is going up, so... At least that's something to look forward to if this video is up and we have recorded Pokemon Mo. A Pokemon Mo video should be coming out soon. But I'm probably going to contradict myself if something goes wrong, so... But yeah, technical issues is hardly an issue now. Sometimes I get the odd missing frames, but I pretty much fixed that because I can upload them to YouTube and then take them off during private and through download MP4 and stuff like that. Regain the lost frames that way. Still have my complicated setup, but because I've now got a job, some more upgrades may happen sometime down the road. Okay, I really want to get this next quick attack off. In fact, just attack and do it. There we go. Anyway, um, so yeah, now I've got a job, of course I'll be getting paid. And of course, my dad is moaning about me to pay rent, but other than that, I'll be probably able to actually buy myself um, an actual good computer. I use a laptop for everything for the past year and a half so far, but it, it, it's got me through. It, it's reliable, just within certain limits. I mean, I have to have a very weird setup for Hypercam. It's not like what Kazuma Sake uses, but because he can record commentary and whatever through... Um, Hypercam too, but when I do that, it sounds a bit weird. As you saw, as you heard through my bo my fourth bonus episode of the Ocarina of Time 100% walkthrough, which was showing the Beta Worlds and more specifically the Triforce screen transition out of Donkey Kong 64. I say that because that's pretty much what Donkey Kong 64 uses. It uses like a DK symbol, spiral, and then come out and in, in and out from the screen. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much how that works. Let's run away from this canopy quickly. I just want to get through this place, to be honest. I want to get straight to the next, uh... I just want to get to the gym, if possible. Because I've already been blabbering on for about 12 minutes. About nothing but... <laughs> life stuff. Once again, this series is... Once again, the challenge is going to be just news. I mean, I don't know what else to say about this at the moment. We're just going through the Rudian Forest. And this thing can just spam... Harden, so we don't have to just uh, spam a, you know, tackle, I guess. It's not like we're going to run out of tackles at this point. I'm really tempted to speed up, though. Do I want to speed up? I'll speed up. I wouldn't normally speed up, but I'm going to speed up, because all it's going to do is spam Harden. This is the only time I'm speeding up. And, obviously, I'm not allowed to cut out stuff, so this is the only time I'm speeding up holding the speed up button just to do this. May look a little choppy because it doesn't actually run smoothly for me when I speed up either. Because it's like a times three speed up, so... Oh! There we go. Let go of the speed up button now. That's the only time I'm doing it. That's the only time I'm doing it. If a Pokemon is just going to be spamming the same move that doesn't do anything, that's the only time I'll do it. Because that was ridiculous. And... A canopy! Yes! We've actually got some competition here. Let's whack it! <coughs> Going for the string shot, are we? Oh! Oh! I'm level 7! Metapro is actually going to become a Metapod. That's cool. Eee! I'm switching out. I'm getting a little bit dangerous. I can't switch out the naughty. Damn. Arrow! Go Arrow. We'll just gust you to smithereens. How about that? And you know what I noticed during editing of the previous episode, which will be coming out tonight? Um... Well, technically, I can do many videos public if I have them already, but, you know, work reasons. I may not be feeling it. I may not be, uh, <laughs> I'm not feeling it. I may not be feeling making all the annotations, stay, taking the time to do that because I'm tired or something, but, yeah, that's a thing. And, like I said, this series is also going to be quite interactive in terms of the uh, border that's around the screen because you can, like, highlight my team and see where I caught them and stuff. Which is pretty cool, and obviously in the graveyard section you can see where they died, or what episode they died on. Maybe both. I won't have it where they're caught, because they're already dead, so... And plus, I'm keeping a separate checklist for them anyway. In a note, in a notepad file, so, yeah. <coughs> and even though I got over my cold in the past couple of weeks, which is when I recorded the previous, well, pretty much all the episodes that you've seen for this year so far, I'm coming down with another one! Go figure! 
I don't normally get cold, but in the recent couple of years, I'm just not as resistant to illnesses than I usually am. I usually were able to go through almost the whole year and only get ill once. But anyway, what I was about to say about Pidgey, that, or Arrow, what I forgot, it's level 9, and it learned um, Gust at level 9. We were going against the rival in the last episode, like that was the first thing we did in the last episode. And we went against Pidgey, and yet I had my Bulbasaur out, thinking that it wouldn't have a flying type move yet, and yet it was level 9. And yet it didn't use Gust. So, that was confusing. But yeah, anyway, we got our Meta Pro. Proper Meta Pro now. All it's got really is Harden, so it's just pretty much the exact same thing as it usually is. But hey, it's got better stats now because it's evolved. Uh, it still needs a bit more experience, though, in terms of everything else. And I'm probably not going to get up level 14 before Brock, which is what the level I like to be before fighting Brock. Always be the level... Always be at the the level of the gym leader's ace Pokemon, and as Brock's ace is a level 14 Onyx, I'd like to be level 14 before I walk in there, or at least level 14 before I leave the area, pretty much. But that's probably not going to happen. I mean, it's Viridian Forest. You have to grind like crazy just to get to that point anyway. If you have the type advantage, you should be fine. But then again, that's just a different story altogether. <laughs> I really want to smack you, but I'm worried that just one hit will ruin me. So we'll just go naughty for now, see what happens. Get some experience at least. Poison Sting. Don't you dare poison me! Thank you. That was 3 HP damage, that's actually crit range. Oi! You know what, I've switched too many times, it's not going to be no experience at all now, so just run away. Guaranteed, because the ability. Isn't there supposed to be an item around here? Ow! Oh, bugger! Didn't mean to do that. Oh well, I'll just look for the item in a minute then. Bam, 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 bam. We don't. I'll just use Aero again. So yeah, we've got a team of four Pokemon so far, which I believe is the most you can get at this particular point in time. Because we got one for Route 1, we got Route... Oh yeah, we didn't get one for Route 2, but then again Route 2 decided to Dupes Claws spam me in the last episode as well. That's a thing. In fact, that was the title of the last episode. God damn. How do I forget that? That was like one of the main things. It's what ate up most of our time, really. Good five, ten minutes. Excuse me. And I like how I and I always uh, have I have a counter at like the top right bit of the, of the uh, border with like with a counter saying like, oh, this is how many times we've had dupe scores on this route, so we still haven't caught a Pokemon on this route yet, even though I've tried. So that's a thing as well. I'm just explaining a lot of stuff that I've just been adding to the. Uh, thing during post-editing that I didn't mention in the actual videos and just talking about them now and the reason why I put them in. Just to be a little bit different. Other than the border itself, of course. It's more interactive for all, you can highlight stuff, you can go to the next video or playlist whenever you want. No end cards. So really all the editing is mostly just done throughout the entire video instead of at the very end where I have to make an end card. But we have those for Pokemon Mo anyway and this is a challenge so it can be done differently. I'm just experimenting, you know. Here we go again, another Weedle, it's level 3, it's not worth my time. Alrighty. Have you noticed the skinny trees on the roadside? Yeah, I don't know why I'm talking to you guys, you're not going to give me anything. It's mostly people in towns that give me something. Am I going to try and catch a Pokemon yet? Nope, not even going to bother. And Bulba is going to be invaluable in this next gym. To say the least. That's why I chose him. I mean, I actually got a comment on my first episode, like, what, about late yesterday? The 5th, the 16th. And they were saying, choose Charmander on my uh, intro video. And I, uh, it was on Meverse, actually. It was on Meverse when I uh, advertised my um, uh, rules and explanations video, which was like before part one. And. They said choose Charmander, and I'm like, sorry dude, I've already pre-recorded the first two episodes because I had work coming. So, yeah, that's a thing. But I did say I wanted to choose my own starter anyway, unlike normally, because it's my first Nuzlocke, and I want to do well. I don't want to be acting like a complete scrub. And funnily enough, I played Gen 1 more than Gen 3, even though Gen 3 was my starting thing. I think I played Gen 1 and Gen 3 a lot, like, the same amount, but I gravitated towards Gen 1 more. Don't know why. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, once again, Dupes Claws, what is going on up here? 
So that's Duke's Claws number 7, and I'm two levels higher, and I couldn't run. Dude. Dude! Dupe's Claws number 7. I can't run! I'm two levels higher! Thank you! Fourth time's the freaking charm, apparently. Right, let's not have that again. Why can I not catch any other Pokemon on here other than Pidgeys and Rattatas? I know that there are Nidorans on this route. And I might as well use the route. That's a Rattata! Dupe's Claws number 8! I, this is unbelievable. I don't know what's going on here. You can catch Nidorans on this route. I know you can. Unless that's... No, I, I, I know you can. Deep's Claws number 9. This is getting... This is unbelievable. Every time I try, come on. I'm recording, but... So, I, whoa. Dude. I didn't even move. Double encounter much? Well, that's number 10 already. I'm counting them as I go, because I knew that I ended on number 6. <sighs> Four more dupes, dupes is already. This is unbelievable. Can I not catch anything here? 11. You know what? I'm going to stop on 12, because there's one because that's another six dupes right there. This is unbelievable. This is hacks. This is random generated hacks. 12. I give up again. 12 dupes clauses on one route this early on in the game. Pidgeys and Rattataz, I swear. I know for a fact that you can encounter Nidorans in this grass. I, I may be completely wrong about that. But I'm pretty damn sure you can. And if not, at least a Caterpie. But I haven't even seen one of them appear yet. So what am I supposed to do? There is literally nothing else I can do on this route, to be honest. Nothing appears in the bushes. Diglett's cave counts as its own separate area because the name appears in the top left corner of the screen. What am I supposed to do? The Viridian Forest obviously counts as its own separate area because once again it comes up with its name in the left top left corner of the screen. And that's where we call Caterpie. <sighs> Leroy Jenkins. Don't know why I'm saying that so often in my videos recently. Oops, claws number 13. Uh, Dupes Claws number 14? No! Oh! No! Dupes Claws! Dupes Claws has finally ended! We got a new Pokemon! I was right! I knew you could counter more than just Pidgeys and Rattatas on this route! 13 Dupes Clauses! Finally we get a new encounter! Unbelievable! Is this, is this just me that's encountered this? I, I swear! Right, now I've got to choose a Pokemon that's weaker. But you know what? Metapro is where he comes into play for this. Because I don't want to... Because you know, when, you, when you're when fighting Pokemon at a low level and you do your powerful attack and it doesn't one-shot it, you just know that if you get a critical and you try to do that with a Pokemon you're trying to catch, and you're going to mess up. So it's like, you can't take that risk. Yep, that's decent enough. Don't poison me. Does Malpro even have that ability that it has in uh, Pokemon? Oh, Shed Skin, that's what it is. Yeah, it does, has Shed Skin, so that's cool. It seems to trigger a lot more in Pokemon, though, than it does in this game. Don't know if that's a thing or if I'm just lucky. Like that. But Jesus Christ! 13 dupes clauses! That's unbelievable! I had to keep track of that many dupes clauses before I could actually catch something on this route. I'm afraid I'm gonna crit. But I gotta weaken it just a little bit more, because. Paid it took three Pokeballs to catch at this stage in the game at level three, so something's going on. The hacks are just spinning around my head right now. All right, here we go. Pokeball. And I'm not mashing the button because I shouldn't have to this time. It's a freaking level four. Yay! I caught a Weedle. I've actually got both of them. Just like Pokemon, Momo, Kieran. He had both of them on his team. I didn't. In fact, I don't think I caught Weedle until, like, well later on. I can't remember. We don't record it that often, okay? But yeah, we got a Weedle! So what do I call him? What do I call him? Hmm. You know what? He's got a round head, he's got dotted eyes, and he's got a big nose, and he has a needle. If you imagine that needle was an antenna, 
there's only one name we can give this thing. But even though it probably won't make sense once he evolves, so whatever. I'm gonna give him. I'm gonna give him the name Olimar. Uh, not in caps. Well, yeah, in caps. Why not? At oh. Olimar. Olimar. Olimar the Weedle. Welcome to the team. Even though I didn't expect you to join. Oh, great. This is a very messed up team right here. Eh, he'll improve sometime down the line. Uh, I don't feel like I want to use him, though, at the moment. I still, I still want to use Cappy more than Olimar, so... Keep him in the second slot, just in case, because if, um... No, because I'm allowed to have Pokemon knocked out. This is a Nuzlocke, derp! Anyway, let's finally get out of Route 2 in the Pewter City here. If I can get the old Ember, that will count as the Pokemon for this location, but I can't get that right now until I have cut at least. So I have to do that when I'm coming through uh, Diglett's Cave. And then when I reach Cinnabar Isle, I can finally claim my Aerodactyl. Because there's literally nothing else to do in this place. You can't run into any grass, there are no ponds to fish in. Kind of like Luster, really, to be honest. And there's not really much training I can do besides wail on a bunch of Metapods and stuff, and that's not going to give me a lot of experience. So I'm probably just going to have to beast him with what I have, and I'm quite scared about that, to be honest. Team's not looking too good. Mm. No, I didn't check the museum, and I don't really... Give a crap, you serious. Pointless tutorial, there's no point to go in anyway. We gotta take the back entrance to get the old ember so we can go to Cinnabar Isle and get ourselves an Aerodactyl. That was made up on the spot. <laughs> anyway, uh, that dude blocks our way from getting the friggin' running shoes and just bypassing this place altogether, so we have to go against Brock. So, you know what? I think potions are in order, so let's go stock up a bit more on potions, depending if I have the money for it or not. Please say I have the monies. I do not have a lot of money. But then again, I have 10 potions. So you know what? I should be perfectly fine with that. And if I also remember correctly, it's just ground and rock types in there. So Bulbasaur should have no problem whatsoever. And Bulbasaur is quite tanky. So, hopefully no problems. And if I have to sacrifice anybody, it will probably be Weedle. Uh, because I didn't really care for the Weedle, but I still needed to catch something on that route. So... Don't even need to talk to you, we already know what you say. Even though everyone does that just because of reasons, in the only in Gen 6 and Gen 5 they give you soda pops when you talk to them, which is like the only reason why you want to talk to them. But anyway, uh yeah, this dude just has a level 10 sand true, so we're perfectly fine here for now. It's Brock that's the main issue, of course, with a level 12 Geodude, level 14 Onyx, and I keep mentioning, funnily enough. I don't mind getting Onyx. Oh, he has a Geodude as well, I forgot about that. Alrighty! Boba! I was gonna go to, um, Arrow right then and use Gust, but then I just remembered, hang on, this is Gen 3, the physical special split for moves hasn't happened yet, that's Gen 4 and above. So, well, I guess I could use Leech Seed if I'm in a little bit of a pickle. Because that will give any one of my team members health. Yes! Metapro level 8, that's cool. If I can just get to level 10, that's a freaking Butterfree right there. And then I have an early Psychic move, Confusion, which is why I wanted Butterfree the most in the last episode. One more Vine Whip to do, and you're done. Oh, whoa, dude. Why did you survive? Stop using Defense Curl, you noob. Not having that. I'm only up to 30 minutes, are you serious? Where's the time gone? I'm not even doing anything. I just walked through Viridian Forest, that's all I've done, and then get spammed by almost 10 dupes pauses. Darn, light years are some time, it measures distance. You should know that if you watch Star Wars or Star Trek, or any sci-fi film for that matter, or program. Okay, what am I looking like? I haven't actually taken any damage. I could just go right now. You know what? I could go right now. <laughs> Friends reference. Joey, freaking Joey. I don't know why I'm going to be saving, because if I game over, that's pretty much the Nuzlocke right there. And I know I am underleveled to a point, but you know what? You can't really do anything at this stage in the game anyway, so 
And I've got 10 potions, which is not how many potions I normally have. I normally stock up with Pokeballs. Because, you know, Nuzlocke, you need medicine. Oh boy, let's do this! First gym leader, let's finish off this episode with a gym leader battle! All the rock types, so my normal types are pretty much just meat shields for healing. Bulbasaur, and Bulbasaur is pretty much going to be my only ace in this battle. Okay, here comes the level 12 Geodude. Go meta pro, get some experience while we're at it, might as well. Okay, Bulba, here we go. You know, maybe I should have just started off with Bulba to begin with, but then again, I'm going to start off with... Hey, no, no, no. Fine whip. One shot, please. What? Woot woot! Alright, now here comes his ace. We're already halfway through this battle, and you scare me, good sir. Leech Seed. Oh, we've got this. We have so got this. Bulba Bala! It's so awesome. Bala! 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 Let me stop that. Yes, tank those hits. Get your HP back and one shot him. Was that a crit? That was not a crit. Dude, that sand shrew from your one and only grunt was more defensive. Wow. I was worried about nothing. Never have I had an easier time against Brock Obama. He stands for rock hard determination. I'm not going to put the face up again. We've already made that jokey poke in my we received the Boulder Badge! The only badge that you received during the battle. Victory screen. Oh boy. That was, uh, that was underwhelming, but very satisfying. TM39, that's Rock Tomb in this version, ain't it? It's Bide in the originals. Yeah, Rock Tomb. Alrighty. So, that was, uh, lackluster, to say the least. Worried over nothing, but... Hey, I won with no trouble whatsoever, really, so I guess I'm keeping Olimar. Or I could put him on the P in the PC and keep him for buffer reasons, but then again, he's not really at a good level for it. But then again, if I'm later on in the game and I do have to have him on my team for whatever reason, he could easily get tons of experience and level up quickly. Because then I can save the early experience for my main team. I think I might do that, actually. But then again, oh, I don't know. I'll keep him with me. I'll keep him with me. First, let me get my Butterfree, and then I can focus on, uh... Olimar. Oh, hang on. There's an item up here. Oh, I didn't check that item for in Viridian Forest. What am I doing? There's an item around here. I'm sure there is. Isn't there? Or is this just a waste of time? Yeah, there is. There's a Pokeball here. Which always helps. So, um, I'm not even going to bother healing at the Pokemon Center. I'm just going to go back into Viridian Forest quickly and find that one item that I'm after. And then I'll probably end it. I know that this has been kind of a long video. It was kind of unintentional. But, you know, catch up. And I'm, I'm enjoying myself. It, it hasn't been a big workout. Plus, I'm able to sit down. <laughs> because that's one of the main things that I do not like in the job so far. Do I have to always be standing up. Yeah, I don't want to talk to you. No, I do not want to talk to you. I want to end a turn. Ah, come on. Your mug. Hello, Weedle. I just caught your mug. Eh, experience. Do it. Definitely more damage than what it was doing as a level 8 Metapod. Meta... Ah, uh, Caterpie. Excuse me. And I got poisoned. Shed that skin, shed that skin. Poison doesn't even matter to me. Why are you not shedding your skin? There we go. Maybe it has to, maybe the status effect has to trigger in order to trigger the ability. It can't just trigger whenever it wants to. So instead of the poison triggering, it triggers the ability, if you know what I'm saying. Knock this thing out for puny experience. Might as well, it's to experience. Critical! That actually helped. That was actually a decent amount of experience. There it is. That's the item I was after. Potions are also very helpful. So, I... Never mind. I was about to do my outro. And now I'll move for a couple of minutes. So you know what? I'll end up my intro here. And I'll just save right here. So, in the next episode, guys, we will 
grab our running shoes finally. I've only had to speed up once, but that was just for that one Metapod. And uh, in the next episode, we'll head off towards Mount Moon. We're already catching up with Pokemon Mo, guys. So, see you guys then. Meet you in the Pokemon Center in the next episode.